hello friends in today's lecture we will be seeing the concept of alkanic alcohol why there was a need of another alcohol gun just to show that rs is not only the public key system which is available for providing security for providing encryption to the data to exhibit a public key system based on a different one way function and therefore there was a need to implement such type of the algorithm which can exhibit a public key system which is based on a different function and algamel is the basis for several well known cryptographic primitives which has a number of reasons we will be seeing what are the significant points of the algamel algorithm in this algorithm what we have to do is we just have to consider a large prime number in the same manner which we considered in the jeffrey hellman key exchange also so to begin with let p with a large prime by large means here a prime number typical in the length to that of an rsa modulus that is nothing but the value of small n which we choose in the rsa the prime number should be of the that range itself also we have to select a number g and this number g must be again a primitive element of the number p also we have to choose a private key x and this can be any number bigger than 1 and smaller than p minus 1 whatever the value of p you are choosing you just have to consider the value of x less than it and bigger than 1 along with x we need to compute the value of k from x p and g and for computing the value of k y we just have to use the equation g to the power of x mod of k guys here it is g to the power of x mod of k y is equal to g to the power of x mod of k now how it does it works If we take an example of selecting the p as twenty three, with p is equal to twenty three, we just have to select a primitive element of it. Should be a primitive root of twenty three, and hence we calculate the value of g as eleven. Once we get the values of p and g, we just have to choose a private key values x. So here we are choosing the value of x as six. Once we choose the value of x as six, we will then be computing the value of y with the previous formula that is g to the power of x mod of p. So for calculating the value of y, we get here the value of g is eleven. So this is also eleven to the power of six mod of twenty three, which then computes you. the value of y as 9 so here we can say that the private key x has the value 6 and the public key y has the value 9 so we get the public key and the private key here now the first job is to represent the plain text as a series of numbers modulo p and then we have to generate a random number k so here instead of finding first the value of k that is k we just have to find the cipher text values in the algamel encryption we will get we will be getting here the cipher text as a pair of two entities that is c1 and c2 and to compute the values of c1 and c2 these are the equations which gives you c1 as c g to the power of k mod of p and for c2 m y to the power of k mod of p 
Then we just have to send the ciphertext, which consists consists of two separate values of C1 and C2. Just take an example of the plain text message here. We are considering it as 10. That is to encrypt plain text n is equals to 10. We just have to use the public key and the value of public key here is 9. How does it then work? Then we have to generate a random number k for implementation of the encryption process on the plain text m we have to consider a random number k which should also be a prime number then we have to compute the values of c1 and c2 by using the formulas which we have seen in the last slide so for computing the value of c1 we have g to the power of k mod of p and for computing the value of C2, we have m y to the power of k mod of 3. So here, the value of small g is 11 to the power of 3 mod of 23. 23 is nothing but the value of p, which gives you 20. C2, m y to the power of 3 mod of 23, which gives you the value as 22. So your ciphertext pair is 20 and 22. Then, how to decrypt with the algamal encryption? Sorry, algamal algorithm. We know how we have calculated the values of C1 and C2. These are the formulas here. Now, the receiver begins by using their public key, sorry, their private key, and their private key X to transfer C1 and C2 values. So, for converting the ciphertext values, we have to use the private key. So, how to compute it? C1 to the power of x is equated to g to the power of k, the whole power of x, mod of p, which we again solve to get C1 to the power of x is equals to y to the power of k, mod of p. And this is a very useful quantity because if you divide the C2 by it, you will get the value of your plain text back. So in other words, you can say that C2 by y to the power of k is equals to m y to the power of k by y to the power of k, which is nothing but the value of C2 is equated to mod p multiplied by the plain text message which will then gives you your plain text back so to decrypt if we take an example the values of c1 and c2 we calculated as 20 and 23 now we just have to compute 206 that is 16 mod of 23 so to compute, we just have to divide it by y2, which will then give you 10 mod of 23, and which gives you your plain text back. If, because we have considered the plain text value as m is equal to 10 here, so after the decryption process, we got our plain text as 10 back. Now, we'll see how does the security is being provided with Algamal, how the security of Algamal works. Trying to decrypt the ciphertext is impossible without knowledge of the private keys or it becomes very, very difficult without the knowledge of the private keys to get the ciphertext or to decrypt the ciphertext. Trying to determine the private key we call the two different strategies for trying to break the RSA. So, the security of Algamal lies in the ciphertext. And for calculating the value of the ciphertext, we need to be rely upon the mathematical computations. And this, this mathematical computations 
only helps in enhancing the security of this algamin algorithm which gives you more security than that of the RSA algorithm. Thank you guys. Hope you must have understood the concept of algamin algorithm.